Hey there, Evil Dragon here. I hope you had some really relaxing Christmas holidays and as it's the end of the year, I've got one more special video for you. As you probably know, we are so close of having a final Pry Pyra prototype finished. Um, Nikolaus has the boards already produced, he's working on the software to get them running together and we already got the key mats fully working and the case is last thing missing, which will be finished in January. In January we go to Greece and then we will tweak the case and build a final working unit and then it's time for the pre-orders. What you have not seen yet though is the video of the PCB production, of the Pyra prototype PCB production, which is what I'm going to show you now. Enjoy! And here they are, the sacred halls of global components where every Pandora Rebirth and Gigahertz PCB has come to life and where also the Pyra PCBs will come to life. First, the soldier paste is put onto the PCB pads, which is being done with a stencil and a machine that simply pastes the soldier paste onto the PCB. After that, the PCB go into the pick and place machine, where two heads pick up the parts, which you can see here. It picks up the parts and then it places this on the PCB and two heads are doing this at once. So one head picks up while the other puts them down and then the heads switch over. Not all parts are being uh, placed automatically. Some parts, like the vibration motor here, are being put onto the PCB manually. With the prototype run, more parts are being put onto the PCBs manually, but in the end, well, most of the parts are being automatically picked up and placed by the machine. Here you can see the nub, which is being carefully put onto the PCB. If you look carefully, you can see that there are already pads on for the smaller nubs. So in case the nubs are not available anymore in the future, you can, we can simply replace them with the smaller ones as well. After that, it's time to go into the oven, so the soldier paste and the parts become fixed to the PCB. And here they are, the boards that are populated on the one side. And then it's time to populate the second side. So the same thing happens again. Parts are being picked up and placed onto the back side of the PCB. And same thing as before, some parts are being put on manually there, here the USB port, well, but all the modules, the small parts, everything is being put automatically onto the PCB and then once again into the oven. Well, and the result is this, four PCBs fully soldiered. And as it's a prototype run, everything has to be checked properly, so they're looking to the microscope if everything has been soldiered properly. A quick test, plug on the USB cable, and you can see the red light blinking, which means the charger chip is working but doesn't find a battery. But on to a real test. So this is one of uh, Nikolaus debug CPU PCBs, which we can now put onto the main board. And then let's see if the main board actually boots up. Here you go. OMAP is working, UBIT is running, the system is booting, and you can see, woo, the lights go on. Some more tests, let's log in and see if all the inputs are there. Looking good, the two uh, joysticks are the nubs. We've got the keyboard, mice, touchscreen, everything. So let's test the keyboard first. Does it work? Looks good. Pressing a button on the key mat shows that the event appears. So that PCB seems to be working fine. At least the keyboard and the lighting. At the same time, the machine was populating the CPU boards. Didn't work out as well as we planned. But well, that's what a prototype run is being for. You check and then you see what you need to improve. So here's a nice main board with the lights. Well, and that's it from Global Components. 
I hope you liked the little video and I hope we will have a fully working Pyra prototype with the next video sometimes in January or early February and then it's time for the pre-orders. So have a good start into the next year which will be a very very interesting year in my opinion. See you soon!